Well, beyond beaches and sunbathing, Alabama's Gulf Coast offers some incredible educational experiences. Dolphin Island, which is a barrier island in the Gulf of Mexico, is a perfect example. Dolphin Island Sea Lab is surrounded by Mobile Bay, Mississippi Sound, and of course the waters of the Gulf. And Mobile Bay is the fourth largest estuary system in the United States. So together, all of that is a perfect location for a different view as we see Alabama. Dolphin Island Sea Lab was started in 1971. It's a consortium of 22 colleges and universities throughout the state of Alabama. And the goal in, in the creation of this was to have one site in which marine science could be studied and marine science could be taught at the collegiate level. We're open year round. We teach during the academic year 11,000 K-12 kids um, a year. A Warsaw, that's a Warsaw grouper. That's a triple tailor blackfish. One of the key reasons for having students understand uh, Mobile Bay in the near shore of Gulf of Mexico is because they live on the watershed of the fourth largest river system in North America. The message of, about their link to the Gulf is very important. Even if they never come to the coast, they are influenced by the coast. So as you walk through, you're walking from the freshwater habitat into the brackish water habitat, and eventually you're gonna end up in the Gulf of Mexico. And these tables are called touch tables, and the whole concept is to encourage people to pick up and touch these things. You don't, you don't get to flip stingrays over. <laughs> well, I just I just think like ocean creatures are really fascinating to me, just like, some of them, are their design structures, like how they move and stuff, and how they eat? Okay, well I like places like this because it's more than a theme park. You can actually learn something, and it's not just being uh, shuffled through for shows and things. Um, and, and obviously for the kids to get chances to do things, they would normally, in Dallas, you're not going to find anything like this. So I like the, the fact that it's really interactive and um, just very interesting to us. So <laughs> I would highly recommend it. <laughs> so today you can catch a ferry from Dolphin Island going to Fort Morgan, which will take you to Gulf Shores and Orange Beach. And on the other end, you can catch the ferry right there at Fort Morgan, drive down Fort Morgan Road from Orange Beach and Gulf Shores, get on the ferry and drive and come across uh, the mouth of Mobile Bay. Actually, you're crossing the three and a half miles of the mouth of Mobile Bay because you'll learn more about coastal Alabama, Mobile Bay in the near shore Gulf of Mexico than, it, than anywhere else uh, along this Gulf Coast. We, ha we have really more visitors than most people can ever imagine. The Dolphin Island Sea Lab, Estuarium, Public Aquarium, all open seven days a week. Now, the summer hours include Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Sundays from noon to 6. You might consider making that part of your visit during your next beach adventure. It's well worth it.